As a kid, I never thought I'd have one of these sets. And now after all these years, I've finally got one. So I know this cargo train's been out for a few years now and there is a newer version out, although to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of the new version. I like this one better and apparently it's retiring at the end of this year, so not long left, so I had to get it and I got it for a really good price. So it's just arrived from Amazon and wow, it's a really big box. But then again, I guess the Lego box inside, this is gonna be slightly smaller and then once you've opened all the Lego, you think, wow, that could have been in an even smaller box. Oh, there it is. Wow, no, huh. This is actually a bigger box after all. It almost fits the entire one that it came in. Wow, look at that. It's actually here, I can't believe I've got it. <laughs> wow, nice. Oh, it comes with a forklift. I have so many Lego City forklifts now. <laughs> I could do a whole video on that. And of course, it's the Bluetooth remote controlled. Nice, that's cool. Yeah, that's just a nice looking train. I like it. And the crane car, sorry, the light's shining on where I'm looking, but that's cool. Logging car, cool, okay. Some other containers at the back as well. Oh, and the money transport van. And there's the front of the box with, wow. And lots of track included, nice switch track. Yeah, there you go, 147 centimeters long, huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, and a train crossing and the end stop. Control tower, there's, there's a lot here actually. It's Wow, this is such a big box. I wonder which thing you build first, and I wonder how many bags there are in here. Oh god, there's so many bags. So there are 12 numbered bags in this set. Well, <laughs> at least. And then we've got bag a track, bag a track, bag a track, track not in a bag, which is a little surprising. The train motor, battery box control, the switch track. Larger train base, all the instructions and sticker sheets safely protected inside the box. Yeah. And look at that, mostly using the newer style of bag numbering, but then hey, look, it's got the old design as well. So yeah, this is a lot here. And I think the first thing we're building is the forklift, I think, yeah. Surprisingly, there is only one sticker sheet in this set, and I know there's a lot of stickers on it, but yeah, I would have thought there might have been split across two or something, but here we go, some useful ones here. That's quite nice, although, those aren't that useful, they're just kind of redundant really, but the rest of it's pretty cool. And then for instruction booklet you get one, two, three, four, five, and six. And just like that I've completed the first bag and first instruction booklet. I built a forklift, yay! And a pallet of money and gold and of course the famous brick separator. Yeah, pretty cool. And a minifigure as well of course. Now it's time for the bank money van. So what do I need for this? I need bag two and three and two large plates. Okay, well, there's the large plates. I'll take those, bag two and bag three. That's the bank money van complete. And you can tell this set is from a few years ago because it's still got the adverts for the old Lego City Mountain Police. And I just reviewed one of these recently. Which one is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, that one there, 60176, yeah. And then here's some other sets from 2019 in the book. I have that truck, love that build. It reminded me of something I made as a kid, especially the front of the truck there. Yeah, that's a pretty cool one. Even the helicopter's quite nice. And then that logging tractor, I've got that. Did want to get this helicopter, but I still haven't got around to it. So I want to add that in for my winter village. Yeah, and then the mining stuff. That looks pretty cool. Okay, okay, this is what we're all here for. This is finally some train stuff. I'm surprised this wasn't like the first thing you build because you know, it's like the main thing in the set, but let's go. And as this train uses the powered up functions, I need to get some batteries for the control and the battery box. Do I need anything else? Um, no, just telling you how to do it. And the first time I used one of these was from the passenger train, which again, I built, I think earlier this year, the beginning of this year. And yeah, I'd never used one of these before until then. So I was like, oh, this is interesting. So yeah, just showing you what's what, building the track and the train and all that to make that. Okay, I'll find some batteries and I'll get started. Wow, this train uses a lot of batteries. The train had so many parts and so many steps, it went over two instruction booklets, but it's finally finished. And there it is, all powered up and ready to go. And I also built the level crossing and it comes with one minifigure as well show you what the wheels move like it's not on any track yet but 
There you go. And I can get pretty fast as well. So yeah, I don't know why you need it to go that fast around your track, it'd probably derail itself, but it's a fun thing. And at the back of this instruction booklet, it's showing you the LEGO City Jungle sets from, wow, I remember this. Wasn't a huge fan of this theme, honestly, but I just missed the days when LEGO had little displays like this at the back of their instruction booklets. I don't think they do it anymore, but this was just so nice, especially the ones for the regular LEGO City stuff. It just gave me so much inspiration. Oh, there's some of the Arctic stuff as well. We've got two instruction booklets left and four things to build. And here we are, the logging truck and the crane car. Now I've finished the little logging truck, logging car here. Although the logs look a little bit plain and oh, they were so awkward to try and fit all three in there. Look at that one's kind of popping up because it wants to just pop out. But the instructions tell you to put the crook here with his binoculars. So I guess he's kind of scouting out the place to see what is worth stealing. And I don't think it's the logs. And now I've finished the crane car, so I've got Two bags left, and that's for the other kind of cargo crate car and the little control tower. And then we can maybe build the track, I don't know, but yeah, nearly finished now. So this is it, the last instruction booklet. And the final two bags. Ugh, oh, what the journey it's been, eh? So I built the last bit of cargo, and now it's time to build the control tower with the final bag, number 12. And just like that, the control tower is finished. And yeah, I've built everything in the set. And in case you were wondering, here's all the spare parts, just the basic one by ones. Although the spare chain is pretty nice, but nothing else too special here. I also decided not to use these handle stickers because I just thought they were too obvious. I mean, the big red knob on the back is kind of enough to say, oh, look at me, I do something. And then same for on the crane here. It's like, oh yeah, these white handles, that does something. So I just didn't put those on. And here is everything all laid out, and you really do get quite a lot from all the track to the different train cars and the bits of cargo, the minifigures. Obviously, there's the sticker sheet as well. All the instruction booklets. Yeah, not bad once it's all together. Can you really ask for more? Okay, maybe I could ask for more, but maybe just like a small little like ground office or something. Like I know we got the little control tower here, but just another little cabin-sized room or something just for the... Yeah, you know, the workers have a little break room or something. I don't know. It's not really necessary, but I would have liked to have seen just something a bit more. But now, let's put it all together and make a little layout. So I've made the little layout according to the instructions, just the basic one. And they really do give you a lot of track here. And for the siding, it almost goes right to the end. And it's enough to fit the whole train on there. So that's pretty good. And you've still got enough room for the cars and the forklift to kind of drive around off the crossing and get around to here where it could be, you know, just use your own parts or your own imagination to pretend there's some sort of like cargo docking station over here or something but i've turned it on it's good to go let's see if everything works so here we go starting off on the slowest speed to get it out of that siding let's see how fast it can go before it derails itself faster okay I think it's at the top speed and it handles itself pretty well around those corners Let's go to a sudden emergency stop. Ooh, okay, it wasn't too sudden. There we go. And now let's back it into the siding. Nice and slow. And stop. Ta-da! Well, there we go. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like this cargo train? Do you prefer the new one that's out currently? The weird like electric i think it's an electric train supposed to be but i don't know i just don't like the whole design of it and yeah so i prefer this one that's why i got that one 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. And if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to check out all the other videos on the channel. And hey, if you like that as well, maybe check out some of my other YouTube channels, you know, something different, but you'd probably like it as well.